It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. Mammy Lane in Clarksville, Tennessee. All right. So there's some headlines going around saying that there needs to be changes of street names. And I guess Mammy Lane is one of them. Well, wow. here to fill us in and to go over it all, ladies and gentlemen, County Commissioner, City Councilman, Jason Knight. Woo, woo. Good to have you, brother. Wait, thank you, sir. He's both. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm probably the the first and maybe only African American elected official to hold two seats in the entire United States. Always throwing race in our mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. Always. <laughs> Microaggression. <laughs> Microaggression. There you go. Right. Uh, down. Jason <laughs> just he wanted his name on the board. That's well, it. Lawyer Wayne's keeping tabs of uh, the microaggressions. Yep. yep. No, but right. Right. So all right. So uh, Jason Knight, fill us in. Uh, where did this start? When did it start? Why did it start? And if I'm correct, Mammy Lane's in your ward. Yes, it is. But it didn't go to, through you. No, it didn't. All right, fill us in on everything. All right, well, uh, I didn't find out about it until it got on to the agenda, and I found out it went to a committee, and the committee decided to get it to the agenda. Um, I wasn't notified, but due to sunshine laws, you know, no one can tell me, hey, you know, this thing is going to committee. And what's a sunshine law for those who don't uh, understand? It's like Red Pill Jen? Uh, yeah. <laughs> took the words right it's, out of it's my mouth. just saying that uh, <laughs> city council members and or county commissioners can't uh, talk about a particular issue that may be on an agenda or may be going on an agenda uh, unless you're at the particular meeting. So you can't go behind closed doors no. and speak privately um, about no, it ahead of time? cannot. I gotcha. Okay. Uh -huh. But uh, having said that, uh, someone could have had maybe, an, uh, you know, the city attorney or, you know, uh, someone to contact me and let me know, hey, this is on the agenda. Would you like to come to the committee meeting to, you know, speak on its behalf or not? That didn't happen. It just went straight to an agenda. So what about the committee? What do they want done? Well, the, the, based off of the, the particular agenda item, uh, they want to change the name of Mammy Lane to Slattery Lane. Um, uh, the reason why they want to change the name is because of its seemingly derogatory reference to, uh, well, using the word Mammy, uh, which... Uh, for some, the definition is a uh, African American woman who takes care of, you know, Caucasian kids, uh, and this goes back to slavery times. Um, like how, Gone with the Wind, would right? Be an it's, it's from the movie Gone with the Wind, however, yeah. um, and I can understand the need and want to have the name changed. Uh, however, m my issue is that no one actually went ahead and asked any of the constituents in the area what they wanted. And Do you think that was done on purpose? Uh, I can't say if it was or okay. wasn't done that way, but... What a politician. <laughs> you <see> that? <laughs> he cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> didn't take the no. date. <laughs> Damn no. it. Come on, Joe. You know me. <laughs> Strike. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> in any case, uh, I've, I felt that the constituents should have been notified first. A uh, petition should have been put together to talk to them and say, hey, how do you feel about this particular uh, street name? Would you like it changed? What would you like it changed to? But that didn't happen. All right, so why Slattery? Uh, I can't tell you, but uh, my wife, uh, being a white woman, uh, told me that she felt that that was derogatory because it's the poor white woman in Gone with the Wind. So why would you look to change a derogatory uh, name of one street only to make it something uh, of a person who uh, can be viewed as a derogatory? Well, name? that makes sense to me. And, and you know what? With you saying that, I was going to make a, a suggestion calling it uh, White Trash Lane. And, <laughs> but you're absolutely right. <laughs> well, right. And that's essentially what Mark uh, that, down. that particular agenda item looks to do. I mean, is it, it, is it a microaggression? That's totally no, right. so white trash it. is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're making fun of white people, it's Just okay. to clarify, yeah. that yeah, entire subdivision wrong. is named after characters from Gone with the Wind. It's, yes, sir. It's called Plantation, it's plantation Estates. estates. Mm -hmm. well, and it's named what, after characters from Gone with the Wind, the yes. movie. When are they going to ask to uh, change the word plantation estates? Yeah, why and would they just and that's the thing. pick out one street then if that's the case? Why would they yeah, not rename the entire you subdivision? Can't, you can't uh, you know, identify and single out one particular street name. You're going to have to change the entire subdivision. Was the Mammy 
the lady that won the Oscar yes. for best supporting yes. the first At ever Hattie. African American woman. And she woman. couldn't Hattie even McDaniel. attend. Mm -hmm. She couldn't even attend the Oscars to receive her award at that Hattie time. McDaniel. So why not, if, if there's going to be a change, uh, and I'm not for the change, to be honest with you, because I think it's a, re a recognition of uh, something great. Okay, here's this lady that, that stepped up. Why don't change it to her last name? That would have been the ideal thing to do. However, the authors of that particular uh, agenda item didn't think to name it that at the particular time. Why? Well, it uh, wouldn't fit with the theme of the know. subdivision either because they're not named after the actors. They're named after the characters. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, okay. And it would, pr you know, if you think about it, it would provoke questions. Why is this person... Do we name it after the? Why is this street named after the actor, right. not the character? Well, because the character's names are considered offensive now. Bay, I got a but question for you, Bay, if you don't mind. Uh, have you heard of uh, Mammy Lane before? No. In Clarksville, I mean, uh, do you do you do you find it to be uh, disturbing t at all? Not to me, no. Not to you. Why? Why not? Mm. This don't feel nothing. Just no emotional of her, mm. right? So I, I, I really wonder why people felt that there was emotion on it, especially if people that weren't living on the street. Well, like I said, I can understand the need to uh, remove anything that, that may seem you know, racially derogatory. I get it. But if you're going to single out on one street, you might as well look at the entire subdivision. And not only that, if you want to take it out, at least talk to the individuals who live on that street who happen to be primarily African American. What a pain in the ass changing <laughs> the address. Oh, uh, everything. And I, you and I have been oh in the military. Oh, my man. God. So you know <laughs> how that is. Don't change You it. have to change mm. every single document. And name one uh, uh, financial institution that's going to change the name of a street on their documentation uh, just because you asked them. They're not going to do that just because it got changed. They're going to keep all that stuff the exact same. I mean, come on. It's hard enough. Lawyer Wayne, correct me if I'm wrong. It's hard enough to get your your uh, your uh, documents changed if you get a divorce. <laughs> why, why aren't you asking right. me that? Well, you're into some trouble. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right, right? It's hard enough to do that, you know, and now you have to get these individuals to change every single financial right. and other documents that they may have that's associated with that particular street name. Now, yeah. you have individuals who's, who's lived there from since the subdivision was created. You know, there's uh, one uh, set of constituents who've been there for about 10 years, you know, and they are opposed to it. And they are uh, African-American and, you know, mixed um, a family. So... Uh, it's wrong to just try to change something without even at least asking these individuals. So I actually went out. I went out and I knocked on every single door on Mammy Lane asking them. Why don't you they just ring the doorbell? Oh, well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I saw what you did there. <laughs> but what they say? Well, everybody's door that I knocked, they said that they were against the name change. Except for one individual who was indifferent, uh -huh. he said he found it to be derogatory. However, if everybody else voted to change it, he's for changing it. If they voted to not change it, then that's fine too. Um, and he didn't have an issue with having to change the documents on, you know, his, his documents with the name change. He didn't have an issue with that. Well, who got their panties in a twist about all this to start with? I mean, where did this even originate? If no one w really wants it changed or if they don't care, where... Where did it start? I can't speak to that. All I know and is it, just, it ended it just up appeared? on that particular agenda. Chief, uh, ridiculous. the erasing of history, your thoughts, your views. It's absolutely horrible. Why? Absolutely horrible. Because if you forget events that have happened in the past, they will absolutely happen again, 100%. Now, I don't understand. Okay, you had Mammy. You, you had uh, the word Mammy used even after the times of slavery, if I'm correct on this. Uh, I based that argument on Looney Tunes, where the mobster guy, every time he would cry like a little baby, would say what? I want my mammy. 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 Yeah, I know mammy. people that call their grandmothers mammy. Yeah. Right. Or, on the tune. So, I, I, I mean, the word itself was not just used, and I'm sure if I go into it, that the word mammy preceded slavery in the United States. So, I mean, where do you, where do you start? Where do you stop with, with the, the deletion? And, and that's where the question is. Right. Well, also, I wanted to point out, like, this, this is why 
pulling down Confederate statues was such a big deal. That's this definitely one of the reasons. Because once you give in a little bit, I mean, w- where does it stop? Now well, we're talking about changing street names. Well, how about uh, the Lincoln, the Abraham Lincoln exactly. statues coming yeah. down? I, I mean, so I hear you. And, and then on top of it, the people that live there are okay with it. So, Jason, when is the voting uh, going to happen for this? Well, it should be. Uh, it, it got pushed off to May, uh, but we have a couple. May? Of, yes. But we have a couple individuals who are coming to speak on on uh, behalf of uh, not supporting the name change. Are they coming in blackface? Uh, oh, no. my God. Okay. No. No. Right at microaggression. Microaggression. <laughs> microaggression. I think that one deserves two. But um, <laughs> in any case, you know, and I appreciate their courage and bravery to come yeah, out there. of course. And, you know, speak, you know, in reference to this because I think it's completely wrong. I think as a representative of the community, you should listen to what the community want and listen to what they have to say because, you know, they're the ones that put you there. You're representing them, not vice versa. Have you been called names for opposing this? All sorts of names. Like what? Uh, Get your pen ready. (laughs) No, no. I cannot confirm or deny the names that (laughs) were called. But, you know, having said that, it doesn't bother me any because I know what I'm doing is correct. I'm looking out for the people who live on that street. And uh, whether or not individuals, you know, have stated to me that, oh, why are you doing this? Don't you support the African-American community? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, those individuals on that street are primarily African-Americans. So, yes, I do. Bay, uh, I may have the interpretation or, uh, or definition of Uncle Tom wrong. Yeah. Fill me in. It just got changed throughout the years. What, what was it originally? He was a dude that helped the, the slaves that got beat and whooped. I didn't have no clothes. Right, so he helped them out. He helped them out. Mm-hmm. So why is it now a, it, a it, derogatory it, term? It, this dude is out the year. Ignorance. Ignorance. Yep. Right. Why? Because you delete history. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then people can take a phrase and create new history. Because they don't yep. know any better, and now right. they're innocent in doing so simply because they don't know any better. It's yeah. like the term Nimrod. Yeah, the, the term mm-hmm. Nimrod it changes over yep. the years. Uh, Wayne, if you could well, you f- s- well, fill in Jason Knight on the term Nimrod. The Nimrod comes from the Bible. There's this guy named Nimrod who was described in the Bible as a mighty hunter. He was a king. And so when Bugs Bunny calls Elmer Fudd, oh, look, a real Nimrod, right? That's intended to be a reference to his ability as a hunter, yeah. being sarcastic. But it gets turned into, you would people don't know, what, don't know what a Nimrod is, the right. reference, it's turned into an Nimrod. An insult, and now we just use it to call someone an idiot because it's like Elmer Fudd. Yeah, because uh, just the second part to that is because Nimrod is said to have been an idiot for having built a tower to heaven trying to that's transcend that's the That's right. He built the Tower of Babel. All right, God. all right, all right. He knows his, yeah. he knows his Bible. It's, it's not good Thursday. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Jesus Christ is my Lord and personal Savior. But it is uh, almost yeah. top of the hour, and uh, you got the meeting tonight. Yes, sir. And what's the big one on uh, the meeting tonight? Uh, it's uh, we don't have anything truly controversial. But you, on this you will story. be discussing but this. We will be discussing, and people can watch it. Pe- people can watch it. Uh, what's the best way to watch uh, just tonight? Just go to the city of Clarksville uh, Facebook page. And you uh-huh. can see their live stream. Uh, and, and people can look. type in comments and everything, they too? They can type in comments, talk, and the whole nine. You know what they should allow on their Facebook Live is the option to join the video. <laughs> don't okay. do it. Just yeah. join in. Don't yeah. do it. Oh, can you just imagine? Don't, don't do it. <laughs> burn them! Burn the mammy signs! <laughs> right. Oh. Mm-mm. But yeah. I have to head out, Joe. I appreciate you having me on no, the show. I appreciate you, uh, you, know, you, you bringing light to this and uh, filling us in and informing us. Absolutely. Thank uh, you again. Yeah, uh, check out his, uh, his Facebook page and Instagram. Uh, that's uh, Jason Knight, uh, County Commissioner and City Councilman. Very selfish. But... Uh, <laughs> Taking all the seats. Love you. Strike. (laughs) It's the Joe Padula Show. Bada bing. Clarksville's conversation.